Welcome to the chapter Encoders and Decoders. It is a very common practice to exchange messages in an encoded format. So the message sender encodes the message and then the message receiver decodes the message before processing it. Therefore, CPI has provided some functionalities to encode and decode messages. Base64 is an algorithm that represents binary data in an ASCII string format. When it comes to system integration, most common use cases of Base64 algorithm is, for example, encode binary files like images, audio files, PDF, documents over HTTP, where only text-based data is generally allowed. So you would convert your attachments, the PDFs or the documents to this text-based string format and then you would transfer those messages between systems. Another example is the binary data, images or files. If you want to store them in a database, in a text field, you would convert those binary files into Base64 format and you would save that in text-based fields in the database. If you want to learn more about this algorithm, you can refer this link here on my website. So that is a very common practice. But for our example right here, let's first see how the Base64 encoder works. Let's create a scenario where an external system sends a synchronous call to integration suite and the integration suite converts the message body or the payload to base64 string. So here you can see a base64 string. Here you have a string character pattern that represent this message body. I will create another package. Let's call it encoders and decoders let's provide a description as well save let's create a new integration flow let's call it encode to base 64 let's define the endpoint let's call it convert to base 64 right if you go to transformations and you can find these options encoders and decoders so you will find many different encoders provided by sap integration suite but for our example, let's select base64 encoder, drag it here. You don't have any configurations here. It simply converts the payload into base64. Let's name it base64 encoder, save it, deploy. Let's create a new collection called encoders and decoders. Let's add the request. Let's add the URL here. Let's change the address to the correct endpoint. We configured it as convert to base64. Let's add a message to the body of the request and hit send. Now you can see this message has been encoded to base64. You can convert this base64 string back and see if it's correct. You can use any online transformer. Let's use this one. Then you can add the base64 string and say decode. Then you can see the decoded message is hello CPI. This is what we provided in the input payload. So our message has been correctly encoded to base64.